conducting materials. So first we should know what, what is a conducting material. A material which have low resistivity are called as conductors. So these conducting materials will have high electrical conductivity as well as thermal conductivity. Basically the conduction in these type of materials is based on the number of electrons present in the material. That is number of free electrons present in the material. We call it as free electrons or valency electrons which is responsible for the conduction of electricity and heat in case of conducting materials. So now let us see the conductivity and mobility of electrons in a metal. So to see the conductivity and mobility of the electrons in a metal, let us consider a metal piece or a metal rod which is applied by an voltage. Here A is the cross sectional area, A is the cross sectional area and L is the length and E is the charge of the charge uh, <coughs> E is the charge of the electron. So now the total number of charges, what will be the total number of electrons present inside the solid material? The total number of electrons in the solid material and it is given by L. So we say that the conduction is mainly due to number of electrons present inside the material, inside the solid material. So the total number of electrons in the solid material N is equal to N into L into A where N is the number of charge carriers, total number of charge carriers, L is the length of the specimen and A is the cross sectional area of the specimen. So now the total charge Q on the specimen is equal to total number of electrons, total number of electrons in the material into charge of one electron. So we know what is the total number of electrons in the material that is capital N. Put this as equation number one that is capital N. N into what is the charge of an electron? It is given as minus E. So the total charge Q is equal to N into E. So put this as equation number 2. Now substitute the value of N. Substitute the value of N from equation 1 in equation 2. Substituting the value of equation 1 in equation 2. So that is the total charge Q is equal to N into. So instead of N, we are, we are substituting N into A into L into minus E into minus E. This is what the negative sign indicates that the conduction is mainly due to electrons. So now when an voltage is applied to the specimen, the electrons, all these free electrons will acquire a drift velocity, a velocity called as drift velocity and will be moving towards the positive direction towards the positive direction that is it will be moving opposite to the direction of the applied electric field opposite to the direction of the applied electric field it occurs and velocity called as drift velocity producing and current inside the specimen now what happens a current is produced inside the specimen so what is current current i is equal to the total charge in the specimen divided by the time taken so put this as equation number three divided by time taken. So what is the total number of charges? The total number of charges is Q divided by T or that is equal to N into A into L minus E divided by the time taken T. Put this as equation number 4. The current density is the current flowing per unit area in the solid. So we have already know what is I, the current, that is equal to N into A into L minus E divided by A into T. Put this as equation number 5. So we already know L by T is the drift velocity. This A and this way A will get cancelled and L by T is the drift velocity, is the average velocity occurred by the electrons when it when an voltage is applied that is what is called drift velocity and it is given by v into d that is 
L by T, length by time taken, that is the movement of electrons divided by time taken, L by T. So now put, instead of L by T, substitute Vd. Therefore, the current density J is equal to N into Vd into minus E divided by T. This is the current density J. Put this as equation number 6. So now, to find the mobility of the electrons, let us consider Ohm's law. So, Ohm's law, let us, I is equal to V by R, equal to V by R, where I is the current, V is the applied voltage, R is the resistance. So the resistance R is equal to rho L by a, rho L by A, so this is equation number 7, and this is equation number 8, R is equal to rho L by A, so rho is the resistivity, L is the length of the specimen and A is the cross sectional area, so when you substitute this, L is equal to V divided by instead of rho L by A or that is equal to V A divided by rho into L rho into L. So now what is current density? The current density J is equal to I by A. Substitute the value of I in the from the above equation. So when you substitute the value of I from the above equation, the current density J is equal to V A divided by A into rho L. V A divided by A into rho L. So, we know in case of conductivity, the conductivity is inversely proportional to resistivity and directly proportional to the applied electric field E. That is, sigma is equal to 1 by rho and the applied electric field E is equal to V by L. This A and this A get cancels. So, therefore, the current density J is equal to sigma E. Put this as equation number 9. So, already we have calculated what is J, the current density J, the conductivity, the current density J. So, now the previous equation that is equation number 6. What is equation number 6? This is equation number 6. Current density J is equal to N into Vd into E, where N is the total number of charge carriers. Vd is the drift velocity and E is the charge of the electron. So now comparing equation 6 and 9. So on comparing these two equations, sigma E is equal to N into Vd into minus E or C is sigma is equal to N into Vd into minus E divided by E. Therefore, sigma is equal to n into mu into minus e, where mu is called the mobility of the electrons, where mu is called the mobility of the electrons. The mobility is defined as the, uh, the drift velocity occurred by the electron per unit electric field. That is, what is mobility? Mobility is the drift velocity occurred by the electron per unit electric field. So, sigma, the conductivity is equal to n mu into minus V e, where n is the total number of charges present inside the specimen, mu is the mobility of the charges and e is the charge of the electron. So, we have found out the conductivity and the mobility of the electrons in a conducting material.